Last time on Sonic X, Chris learned that his world and Sonic's were once one. But since the planet started to recombine, time itself is screeching to a halt. The only way to unstop the clock is to cause chaos control and send Sonic and his friends back to their world. Suspecting a trick, Chris confronted Dr. Eggman and was shocked to discover that the time freeze fiasco was real. Now Tails and Chuck are working overtime to build a machine that can send our heroes home. Can they conquer the secrets of chaos control before time runs out? Find out next on Sonic X. of the president. My fellow citizens, I have sad news to bring you this morning. Many months ago, a connection was established between Sonic's world and our own. Now, regrettably, that connection must be severed forever. Morning, Chris. Good morning, Sonic. How's it going, guy? Okay. We can go for a run later if you want to. Sure. Unfortunately, this is the last day we will spend with Sonic and his friends. Tonight, they must return to their own world. Personally, I don't see why it's such a problem if time suddenly comes to a stop. If I don't get older, I won't get any wrinkles. But, Amy, don't you think you'd get bored if you were forced to live the same day over and over again forever and ever? And if you don't get any older, you'll never get birthday presents. I didn't think of that. I have school. See you later. Enjoy your day, Chris. Bye. Take have a good care, time. No good. I wonder what we're doing wrong. And on behalf of all our citizens, I extend our best wishes to Sonic and his friends. <clears throat> As you make the journey back to your home world, please know that this world will never forget your acts of courage and heroism. What a blowhard. That mealy mouth gutless wonder should have done something to get rid of those freeloaders a long time ago. Why build an expensive machine to get rid of them when a couple of well-aimed missiles could do the trick? Basher here. Commander, we think Eggman is up to something. What's he doing? He's working on something suspicious. What should we do? Don't let Eggman out of your sight. Watch him like a hawk. I want to know his every move and report to me directly. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Eggman's obviously planning to make one last sneak attack before he takes a hike. He thinks he can catch us with our guard down. We had a chance to get rid of Eggman once, but the president went wobbly. He was too scared civilians might get hurt. Well, I'm gonna finish off that freaky fanatic once and for all. And no lily-livered politician's gonna stop me. I wish Sonic and the others didn't have to go back. On TV, they said time's gonna stop if they don't go home. I know it's important and all, but it's going to be lonesome. I don't want things to go back to the way they were before Sonic came. <sighs> From the first time we met, it seemed like Sonic and I were meant to be friends. Right from the start, we always looked out for each other. Now, what if Sonic gets in trouble and I'm not there to help him? Uh, uh. <laughs> 
fire. I wonder why our radar systems didn't detect that fleet. Unfortunately. We unplugged the radar. We wanted to watch TV. This base needs more electrical outlets. Huh? Ah! I want to know who ordered this attack. The President's office is secure, Colonel. They know something. Why can't we get through to the President's office? Has something happened to him? They're not fighting fair, Eggman. They got you totally outnumbered. They may have me completely surrounded with thousands of robotic attack craft, but I possess the one weapon that can easily defeat them all, which is my super superior brain. <laughs> It doesn't take a real big brain to see you're in trouble. You should leave. Dr. Eggman never admits defeat, especially when he loses. Mm -hmm. huh? ah! Ah! You will probably kick me in the compressors for saying this, but I think you should listen to Sonic. This situation is hopeless. Even an egomaniac needs to be realistic sometimes. No way. I'm gonna stay right here and hold my ground until there's no ground left to hold! I'll stop those robots for you, but first you have to leave! Forget it, Hedgehog! I'm giving you one last chance, Eggman! Never mind, Dr. Eggman! Just save us! Pretty please! This is Chalkboard Charlie. It's all clear here. Do you read me? Over. This is Topaz. I copy. Incredible! Sonic is Dr. Eggman's archenemy, yet now he's coming to Eggman's rescue! I knew that hedgehog was a traitor! Sonic and his flaky freedom movements corrupting the whole country and turning everybody into peaceniks! When dangerous pests infest your home, there's only one sure way to get rid of them, and that's exterminate them. You're taking this breaking and entering business way too literally. How'd you get here? Rouge, come in. What's happening in there? Relax, Topaz. I ran into Knuckles. I'll let him tag along if he promises to be a good boy. Rouge, some renegade agents are holding the president in his office. He's in danger. You two have to slip in there and free him fast. Roger. Good luck, Rouge. Who needs luck when you have talent and beauty? <laughs> Time for a merger! Affirmative! Merge now! Roger! Behold my super fortress, the greatest fighting machine ever invented, the Grand Egg Imperial! We could save ourselves a lot of time and trouble if we abandon ship now. Right! Pipe down! We have enough firepower to send those robots down in flames! Blast them with the laser cannons! Roger! I hope you don't mind us dropping in. No, I don't mind at all. Mr. President! Oh. I'm fine, thanks to them. I told you I didn't need your help, Hedgehog! <laughs> 
What since you tried to save me? Here's a little present for you. Huh? What's this? We call her the commander, Mr. President. We're gonna march him off to the military police. Good work, officer. Take him away. Tell the president I'm not sorry. This country used to be strong, but now it's on the brink of disaster thanks to his support for Sonic. You'll see. You'll see. He's got a point. Sonic's okay, but sometimes he's a real troublemaker. I'm no Sonic fan, but it was Eggman who caused chaos control and sent us here. It's all his fault our worlds joined together and we got in this mess. I guess it doesn't matter who's to blame. The important thing is to try and set things right again. We can worry about settling the score with Dr. Eggman once we make it back to our own world. We have to act at once. The past isn't important. What's at stake now is our future. All of you must return to your world before time comes to a stop. We won't be going anywhere unless Tails and Professor Thorndike finish their machine. This is the last part we need. All we have to do is put it in the machine and we're set. Let's test it out and make sure it works. Looks like we did it, Chuck. <laughs> With Eggman's help. This is the worst day of my life. Soon, Sonic will be gone. Forever. And we'll never see each other ever again. Sonic's my best friend. It's not fair. I think we should go and see them off, don't you? Sure, but Chris asked us not to come along, so we'll have to stay out of sight. Hey, Sonic? Yeah, Chris? Do you really want to go back to your world? Well, I don't have a choice. As long as I've got places to run and explore, I'll be happy. That's good. Goodbye, guys. We'll miss you. We wish you didn't have to go. Time to see if this machine works. Yeah! We don't have enough power, Tails. What'll we do? The other emeralds are still missing. If they don't get another emerald, they won't be able to cause chaos control. Sonic and the others will have to stay here! You could use one of these! Great! We have enough power now! Alright, Tails, let's power up! Ah! Here goes! Power burnout. We don't have enough energy now to send the rest of you back. Huh? I'm not giving up yet. But tails. If I make some adjustments, I think I can draw even more power for the machine. It's worth a try. Maybe it's...
it's time for me to hang it up. There's not another competitor out there like Sonic. When he steps through that gate, I'll lose the greatest challenger I ever had. Good luck, Sonic. And thanks. That was the fastest goodbye ever. I think he just broke another world record. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, I think it's fixed. Let's give it a go. Excellent work, Tails. You did great, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to miss you. Yeah. Goodbye, Chuck. You've been a great teacher. And an excellent friend, too. Cream, we know how much you like flowers. It looks great on you. You like it? Oh, thank you all. I love it. But not as much as I love all of you. <laughs> Don't cry, Ella, or you're going to make me lose it, too. Don't worry. I went to the plant store and bought myself a cactus to take care of. Oh. I named it Amy. After you! That was sweet of you, Ella. Thanks. Thanks for taking care of us. You and Mr. Tanaka made us welcome. It was our pleasure. I wish you could stay longer. Here, this might help you to remember me. <gasps> you wrote down your favorite recipes so I can make them when I'm back home. Ella! Oh! <gasps> Ella! What will I do without you? I don't know! <laughs> In a second, Sonic will go through that gate. He'll be gone forever. But I'm not ready to say goodbye. Looks like this story's ending. But I still haven't figured out who you really are. You'll have to keep investigating. Hurry! We can't keep the gate open long. You have to leave immediately before there's a power failure. Thank you for everything. It was nice knowing you. Thank you all. <laughs> it's been a blast. Goodbye, Cream. Amy. Tails, I'll never forget you. Take this before I change my mind. When I saw that gem in the jewelry store, I had to get it for you. It was a steal. Hmm. See ya. Back home, Sonic. Back home. <laughs> Let's go. Hmm. Okay. Sonic. Huh? Say goodbye. You know this is the right thing to do for both our worlds. You can do it, Chris. Well, Sonic. Chris. This is it. It's been cool. I'm glad we met. Bye, Sonic. And good luck.